A state of emergency is in effect in Fort McMurray this morning. Raging floodwaters threaten homes in the northern Alberta community. Days of heavy rain have pushed local waterways, particularly the Hanging Stone River, to dangerously high levels. The rushing waters are eroding riverbanks, washing away roadways and threatening gas and phone lines. Some neighborhoods are under boil water advisory already. People in the flood zone are waiting for the knock at the door to tell them to get out. Like panic attack packing is like grab everything and what's important, what's not. Because if they start knocking on the door, we have 10 minutes to get out of here. Dozens of homes have been uh, put under evacuation order so far. Water levels continue to rise overnight, and there is more rain in the forecast for the days ahead. Now, RCMP and fire officials are helping deal with this situation, helping with the evacuations. We want to make sure we get the very latest on this story now. Fire Chief Darby Allen is on the phone from Fort McMurray. Chief, good morning. My name is Heather. Can you hear me? Good morning, Heather. Yeah, I hear you fine. Thank Good morning. You. Listen, very early where you are, we're just looking at these extraordinary pictures, just how high the water is in your community. What are you dealing with today? We're, uh, it's actually calmed down a little bit overnight, but the last uh, 36 hours or so have been fairly hectic. We've, uh, we've never seen water levels like it here. Uh, it, for as long as they've kept records, the, the Hanging Stone is the highest it's ever been, and obviously... You know, that's created some challenges and um, caused damage to the riverbanks, large erosion, roads have gone, pathways have gone, uh, electrical power poles have fallen in the river. It, it's, been, uh, it's been quite the ride. A state of emergency is in effect, uh, and you've issued evacuations so far. Now, are those voluntary or are they mandatory, sir? The uh, state of local emergency um, enables the first responders, be that police or firefighters, to uh, mandate that people leave their uh, homes. However, at this time, we have not mandated that. We have recommended where we feel it is necessary for them to leave their homes. And if they have uh, not wanted to, we've asked them and told them that in their best interest they should but at this time we haven't mandated it obviously uh, that could change depending on what happens with the water situation for sure mm -hmm. I mean if we get to a situation where we feel that lives are in danger and um, we will in that case we will uh, evacuate the people uh, whether they want to or not how many people so far have chosen to go uh, we've got 151 people that have currently been evacuated, and uh, I would think we've probably got around uh, 20 or so who've decided to stay where they are. Okay. Those people who are, are who, who left their homes, are, are they okay? Yeah, they're, they're fine. Um, we initially took them to a temporary facility, uh, which is uh, basically a sports arena in town. And since that time, um, all but two have found accommodation with family and friends. And we're currently still putting up two people overnight who are obviously sleeping right now. Exactly, where it's just after 4 o'clock in the morning. Listen, yes, obviously, that's good news on the people front. Obviously, as you mentioned, you have a number of challenges from roads to, to power right now. What are your priorities today? Well, we want to, as soon as the light comes, we want to reevaluate the erosion situation. We've got a, a trailer cord where we've lost um, about half the road that goes around that trailer cord, so we need to reevaluate uh, what the situation is with regard to those people. Um, we've got an area called Hanging Stone where 14 homes back right onto the river. The river's currently at their back fences, so we have to have a, a close look at that again. Um, we've had some issues with power and gas lines, so that, that's high on our priority. So really, um, the weather wasn't too bad to us last night, so we're going to have a good look again when, that, when the light comes. And then, um, you know, our, our priority is obviously the people. We want to keep them safe and we want to keep them in shelter and, and give them something to eat. And, uh, you know, this will go on for two or three days based on the weather predictions, and then we can hopefully get people back into their homes.